It is that time of year again. It is time to fill these stockings. Stay tuned and I'll tell you how. <laughs> This video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Our Set Play, and today I am going to give you some of my favorite ideas on how to fill a Christmas stocking for the artist in your life. So whether you are an artist and you want to send this video to a loved one as a little hint, or you just happen to know and love an artist and you are looking for some easy ways to spoil them, this video is for you. So let's get down to it because I have 12 fun ideas, which includes a lot of different things for you to fill your artist Christmas stocking. All right, let's get started. This is probably going to be a long video because I mentioned that I have like 12 ideas, but they're very general ideas. So there's going to be multiple things under the umbrella of each idea. And I think there's like one or two that only have like one item in them. So, <laughs> but this is meant to serve as a general overall view of the types of things you can put in the stocking for an artist. You don't have to get the brands that I'm mentioning here, although I will link them in the description below if you do like a certain item that I show and you want to get it for the artist in your life or you are the artist in your life and you want to get it for yourself. It's okay. I won't tell. It's fine. No judgment here. Okay, so let's start. The first thing that I want to mention is not one of the funnest things, but it's a necessity, and that is pencil sharpeners. This is a great stocking stuffer item for artists because they're small enough so they fit in the stocking, but they're also small enough that we lose them all the time, but it's something that we always need, and so we can never have enough pencil sharpeners. So if you have an artist in your life even if they already have five pencil sharpeners, it's okay to get them another because most likely they will lose a few of those pencil sharpeners. We have them laying around everywhere. It's always good to have one on hand, so multiple is fine. And then these are just your general run-of-the-mill pencil sharpeners. They come, you can get them singly or sometimes they come in pencil sets. This one here has two slots, one for the smaller pencils, one for larger things. You know, some of the larger pencils out there, sometimes artist crayons, things like that. This is a plastic one, which is a little less expensive. I'm not as big of a fan of the plastic ones. The metal ones seem to work really well. And yeah, so that is my first item that I think would be good in an artist stocking. The next item goes right in line with that kind of artist necessity theme. And that would be erasers. <laughs> Again, this is an item that artists can never have enough of. We use them up, we lose them. There's a, a bunch of different kinds that do different things. You can get fun novelty ones. This is always fun for a Christmas stocking. I mean, look, it's an egg eraser. Hello. And then other novelty erasers. I mean, this is Van Gogh's ear. You can't go wrong with that for an artist. Heck yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you right now? Erasers are very important. <laughs> but then you have your regular white erasers. This is one of my favorite kinds of erasers. It doesn't leave marks on the paper, which is really important. It's a little less fun and cutesy, but it gets the job done and you're not you're not making marks on your on your paper. Like these are fun and colorful and really good, but at the same time, sometimes the colorful ones can cause marks on the paper. So depending on what your artist is doing, they might want to opt for something like this. But if they're just doing something general and having fun, they might want something colorful and pretty. You have sushi erasers. There's just so many different kinds of erasers you can get. I've got this bad boy here that comes with a little wheel on the end. And what that does is if you erase, it's got the eraser here. This picks up the shavings. So it does its own cleanup. So that's pretty neat. All different types of erasers. And they fit in the stocking pretty well. Some of my favorite erasers, there's... Electric erasers are battery operated. This really saves on the artist's hand and does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. And you can get some pretty precise lines with it. I also like these erasers that sharpen like a pencil by Faber-Castell. And I should mention, this video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. These just happen to be the things that I have on hand. I love these pencils. They 
they they're an eraser but they sharpen like a pencil so you can get really precise tombow mono erasers are another great option they're a mechanical eraser they are also really precise they have these this tiny little eraser in there and you can pump it like a mechanical pencil so it can come out further so when it wears down and you can buy replacement erasers that would be another really good stocking stuffer option is replacement erasers along with a Tombow mono eraser and then there's other pencil erasers too this is also by Faber-Castell these ones are pink they're softer I prefer the white eraser again it makes no marks on the paper and it's really really strong so yeah plenty of ideas for erasers out there and again this is an item that every artist needs and they might lose they wear out it's great to have multiple on hand at all times so those first options were great for people who like to use a lot of dry media but what about the painters in your life paint brushes this is also something that they can't get enough of you have your water brush which fills with water it's hollow so you can put water in it and so if you have a watercolor artist especially one that likes to paint in plain air like if they're out doing urban sketches and things like that this is fantastic because you put the water in and then all you have to do is squeeze it and the water will come out here and they can wet their palette and they can do what they need to do and you can buy these single some there's a few that have like a three set things like that all will fit in the stocking perfectly then pretty much any craft store you go to is going to have these fun sets where you can get you know anywhere between three to ten paint brushes in it and again these will still fit in the stocking a little bit bulkier but still fit in there just fine and it has a variety of paint brushes and i love this one because it's the mermaid theme like how fun is that like super cool for those magical artists in your life and then this one is kind of more of a luxury sort of set and this is also a travel set it comes with three different sizes and they're compact so that you can put them in your travel bag and what you do is you just take it you unscrew it the brush comes out and then my husband actually bought me these ones I'm not as familiar with this with this brand but these are really nice just tack lawn synthetic tack lawn brushes and they're perfect for when you're on the go but they also add a little bit of a more luxurious feel to the gift they just feel really nice they've got the little leather case you put these back in a fantastic stocking stuffer okay so this one is the only one <laughs> that I have in this category it's an odd looking thing, isn't it? This is called a paint puck. And what this does is it sits in the artist's paint cup and they can use it to clean their bristles off. So say this was a like regular paintbrush. It just sits in the bottom, it suction cups, and it helps gently clean the bristles of their paintbrush. It's a great, great product to you know help your artist take care of their brushes i just think it's so fun and it's just perfect stocking stuffer size this is one of those items that not every artist will necessarily have so it's kind of unique and different and something that they could definitely need or use even though they didn't know that they needed it okay so in case you haven't been keeping track because I haven't been. <laughs> we are now on to number five, and we're going to start getting into some of the fun stuff. So let's go back to our artists that like to draw. What is a perfect gift for somebody who likes to draw that will fit in a stocking? And that would be pencil sets. And then maybe even some blending stumps to go along with it. But, you know, you have your, these fun five graphite this is the watercolor graphite there's just so many different kinds of pencil sets you can get if you want to get really bougie you got the black wing 
audition set. I think this is a great set. It's a sampling set of all the black wing pencils and black wing pencils tend to be like a creme de la creme item. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on each of your stocking stuffers, but if you do want to spend a little extra cash to really spoil somebody, black wing would be a good option for that, but there's much cheaper options out there. And there's just so many ways you can do it. You could get small colored pencil sets. This one is the Technolo set by Karen Dosh, and these are tinted graphite, similar to the Graphitint pencils by Derwent. This one even comes with a water brush in it, so you basically have what you need to start working. Some pencil sets will also come with erasers and sharpeners and things like that. But yeah, many different brands out there, so if you know what brand your artist likes, or if you know that they've been wanting to try a specific brand, see if you can find a small set for them because this is a perfect item for the artist stocking. Okay, so my next idea, number six, very similar to the last idea, but instead of pencils, we've got fine liners. This is great for your illustrators and the, the artists in your life that to, like to do a lot of graphic work or like to work in black and white. Many different brands out there. You have the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. You have the Tombow. This is a new one to me. I haven't had the chance to use them yet, but these are the Molotow black liners. And you can buy singles as well if you don't want to get a set. I know the Faber-Castell, they also sell pocket, I think they're called pocket sets, something like that of their pit artist pens that are their brush pens, which are colorful. So you don't just have to do black and white. And I think a lot of alcohol markers are sold in smaller sets as well, if that's the type of artwork that your artist likes to do or that you like to do, you know, in case you want to build your own stocking. Again, I'm not judging. Um, and then of course you have things like gel pens. If your artist is into drawing with ballpoint pens, there's a huge range out there that you can buy of colorful sets of ballpoint pens. So this again, very small and compact, will fit in the stocking just fine, but will pack a punch. It's a good impact because there's so much that you can do with these supplies, even though they come in small packages. Okay, so for my next idea, again, playing off the last two. Pencils and markers are not the only thing that come in smaller packages. There are plenty of supplies that you can get that are perfect to fit in a stocking. I know Sennelier, they put out sample size sets. This is just a fun little watercolor set. Great stocking stuffer. Again, this is probably going to be a little bit more on your luxury side of things. But when you're getting a sample set, you're spending a little less money than you would if you were to get a full set of these paints. And then it gives your artist the chance to try something new that they may not have been able to try before. Look at this tiny little paintbrush. How can you resist? And you've got your primary colors here. Just a great way for somebody to experience a supply. But it's still just fun and cute and perfect for the stocking. If you want to expand beyond that, you could also just kind of splurge and get like a 12 set of watercolor pans. This one is the Van Gogh Muted Colors. You've seen me review this on my channel. I mean, look at that. Clearly, I clean up my palette after I'm done. Um, but this also comes with a brush. And again, it's a little bit bulkier, but it will still fit in a stocking. And this is, you know, a little bit more of a gifty item, but it might get a little lost under the tree. So if you are looking to spend a little more on the stocking, this is a great route to go. Here's another example of a test pack by Sennelier. This one's, again, a little bit bulkier. These are their oil pastels. These things, I swear, they're like lipstick. They're like butter. They are so good. Um, again, a great way for your artist to try something new. So even if you are, you know, working on the less expensive side of things by getting pencil sharpeners and things like that so that you can splurge on one good gift for the stocking, this would be a good gift to be your one good gift. Give them the chance to try something they haven't before. But you can still get more, like, less expensive things too. I think this one, this is just a generic soft pastel palette. I actually received this in my stocking from my mother, but yeah, and I love those colors. And then again, if you want to splurge, you got your 
your other pastel sets by like Karen Dosh and things like that. But again, there's less expensive brands out there. This is what I have on hand to show as an example. Don't feel like you have to get these brands. Just look around. This is meant to give you a general idea of the things that you can find that will fit in your artist stocking. And on that note, if you can't splurge for a full set of something, there are a lot of paints that are available open stock that you can fit in a stocking. You can get just individual tubes of paint in your artist's favorite brand, maybe they have a color they've been wanting to try, or maybe there's a color that they use a lot of that they've mentioned to you. And you can't splurge for a full set of paints, but you can certainly maybe afford a few dollars here or there to get a tube of paint so that they can have the color they love. And just to add a little bit of color to their Christmas stocking. You can also get paint pans individually as well in a lot of different brands. This is the Van Gogh brand. Again, this isn't a very expensive brand. Some of these tend to be a little bit pricier, but your less expensive brands will also have open stock options available. So don't be afraid to look around next time you're at Michael's or anything like that. See what they've got going on for paint sales and maybe just pick up a few really pretty colors for the artist in your life. Okay, so you got them some tubes of paint, but say they're having a hard time because they've already used some of the paint in it and they're having a hard time getting the rest of the paint out. Either they can't open the cap or... They're getting low on their paint. Something really good to have on hand for any artist is a paint tube opener. Let me tell you a little something. Some of these, especially if they're an oil painter, some of the, the tubes, they don't want to come open. But this fits different size tube caps. And it makes it easier to open the tube. And so I... <laughs> was blown away when I first saw this. And I just recently saw this on Clark Fine Arts, one of Clark Fine Arts videos. Angela Clark, she's she's a fellow Mainer and a, a fellow artist. And I saw it and I'm like, I've been painting for years. How did I not know this exists? Because I usually have to have my husband open my, my paint tubes. But look, this is perfect to fit in the stocking. And this item is also for paint tube care. And this is for when people get low. So, I mean, if you've got an artist who's been painting for a while, chances are they have some tubes of paint they can't get the rest of the paint out of. I'm not gonna do this because this is a full tube, but basically you put this between here and here and you crank it and it'll pull the tube through and it will push the paint out. So if you're getting low, you know, think about toothpaste when it gets low and you're really trying to get that last little bit out, especially these days when everything's so expensive. This is perfect for the artist in your life who really loves that paint color and they want to get every last drop out. And again, this is a little bit bulkier, but again, it's something that every studio could have on hand. So we've gotten our artists a ton of fun supplies. What are they going to do with them though? Miniature sketchbooks. This one is a hand and mule. It, um... <laughs> My cat got a hold of it as soon as I got it, like the day I got it, got a hold of it and decided to add his artwork to it by chewing on the corners. But this one is like a watercolor sketchbook. Great for field studies, great for being out and about. This one's a little bit more on the pricey side, but again, you can find lesser expensive options. But look how compact it is. That would fit in the stocking perfectly. So if you were to get your artist, say the little pocket watercolor set with a water brush then they could have a miniature sketchbook and they could be working on some brand new artwork with their new supplies right after Christmas dinner with everything that you got them and another great idea for this would also be miniature canvases I don't have any of those on hand right now because they're lost in my studio at the moment while we renovate but Little miniature canvases, they're, you know, you can get them for like, they're two by two, three by three, four by four, very tiny. They usually come in a pack of three or four, and those would fit in the stocking very well as well. So if your painter deals with acrylic paints or something like that, you could also give them some miniature canvases to, to have in their stocking. Okay, folks, we're coming up to it. We are on number 11, and that is basically cleaning products. So we've got our Kiss Off Stain Stick. We've got our Brush Cleaner by The Masters. This one's just a little mini one. You can get bigger ones as well. They, they upsize, they get a little bit bigger. I actually have one that I use that's 
<laughs> that is like, I think it's the school grade one. It's supposed to be for like a, like a classroom size. Um, that's the one I use. That won't fit in a stocking. This one would be perfect to fit in a stocking though. And basically it's just like a little thing of soap in here and it washes all types of brushes and it doesn't matter what medium you use, whether it's watercolor gouache, acrylic, oil, it will clean your brushes. It's a great brush cleaner. Another good brush cleaner would be Speedball Pink Soap. This is a bigger bottle, but I believe they have some smaller bottles. I might be mistaken though, but something similar to this that you could pop right in the stocking. Just anything for brush care or to help your artist clean up. And then this stain stick, this is for the clothing of artists. <laughs> and I have never had a better stain stick in my life. So if your artist gets paint on their clothing, they can use this. It just rubs on and then it helps wash off. I love it. Even my husband swears by it for things that are not art related. Yeah. Best stain stick, best stain remover that I have ever used for clothing. Okay. So number 12, this one's going to be a broader category. And this is basically novelty themed gifts you know, that are artist themed. So basically anything that's fun and art themed for your artists, you got artist themed games that would fit in the stocking. Fun novelty supplies. This is a pen. It is a unicorn pen because I am a magical girl who likes unicorns. I'm also 12 in case you couldn't tell. And um, yeah, so just novelty supplies. If you're if your artist has a favorite artist, this one is a magnet. This is a Winslow Homer magnet. I got this at a gift shop, but they have a favorite artist. Get stuff that is themed by that artist. I mean, here we go. Here's our Bob Ross quintessential novelty type of gift for an artist. Other things that fall into this category would be things like stickers, ornaments, Enamel pins. If your artist is watching artists online and they really like that artist, you can get enamel pins by those artists and stickers by those artists and put them in the stocking and that would be a welcomed gift. Just anything fun and artist themed. And then there, there's fun games that you can get. I use paint chip poetry as a prompt card kind of thing. I've done a video on this in the past. Basically, these are a bunch of paint chips and they have words on them. You can pull the paint chips, use the colors and the words as inspiration for art. This is the art game. And this involves learning about the different artists that are out there. You find out all kinds of fun, different facts about them. So it talks about like, it kind of rates the artists, honestly, like by how much of an influence they've had on the world, what kind of money they make, you know, things like that. But you'll learn things about artists that you didn't necessarily know from it. So, and there's other countless games like that as well. So that's it. Those are my 12 grand ideas for stocking stuffers, for the artists in your life, or if you just want to spoil, spoil yourself this holiday season, have at it. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I also want to thank everybody who has come along and has been supporting the channel. I have recently had an influx of new subscribers and I want to welcome you all here. Thank you so much for being here and thank you to all who have been watching me for a while. I really, really appreciate your support. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. You have a great day. Bye. If you found value in this video, please feel free to hit the like button, hit subscribe and share so others can see it as well. Thank you.